check that sucker out. This is a Mac. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. We just picked up an epic looking storage unit. This is the most expensive one I've ever bought. We paid $210 for this unit, but just from the front, it looks to be absolutely loaded with amazing stuff. So fingers crossed, we're gonna score huge in this one. Without further ado, let's get digging. All right, guys, let's get into this. So the reason I bought it was right this right there here. They had this labeled as a computer monitor on storage treasures, but exactly as I thought. This is a Mac. I'm pretty sure, I'm not an Apple person. I've made that clear in a lot of my videos, and I'm pretty sure their computers are like all in one. I don't think this is just a monitor. I think this is the whole thing, hopefully. I could be wrong, like I said, I've never owned one, but we did have to use these in some classes during school, and if I remember correctly, they're all in one computers. Fingers crossed it is. If it's a monitor, it still has an Apple logo on it, so some idiot will still pay a ton of money for it. <laughs> we got dishes and junk here. It actually looks like a decent pan, maybe. Ooh, and the other reason I don't think nobody noticed because they didn't have this labeled. <laughs> Look at that. That is a huge looking flat screen TV. Hold on, let's try to get this stuff off it as soon as possible. What is this? Is Christmas decorations? Honestly, it might look for like a Goodwill or something nearby to take this stuff away so we can get rid of as much as possible. Might keep some of it. Christmas is coming up now, so who knows? What is this? More random junk. Looks to be that way. Yeah, just random little decorations. Might keep some of it. Like I said, we don't know. This storage or facility is like 45 minutes from the house so I want to make it as easy as possible what is this from I've seen this somewhere nightmare before Christmas yes he has a zipper what if I just opened him up and he was full of money nothing in there but this TV though look at that coat too it's pretty nice st. John's Bay it's like I thought it says authentic one that's usually a good sign this wool or whatever it is it's so soft and it looks like it's leather on the outside that is not going to be cheap. I haven't obviously been able to look it up yet, but I bet it's worth a decent amount too. Nothing in the pockets, but nice coat. But the TV, the Samsung too, not even a crappy brand. But the thing is, with all this stuff piled on top of it for all that time, is it going to be cracked? I don't know, like internally cracked. That's the issue. We got a bag here with, looks like some random dress clothes and stuff like that. Whatever, one pair for $42. This stuff still has tags on it. This purse still has a tag on it. For how much? 20 bucks? 30 bucks. 30 bucks, not much. Let's learn Japanese. All right. Uh, I just want to get everything off of this. Not quite yet. Another Christmas tree. Oh joy, another Christmas tree, guys. Like we've been able to sell one out of like the three we found. Like I just at this point we just donate them because people want them for Christmas and they take up way too much room for the little bit of money they're worth. What do we got in here? We have an angel ornament with an afro. <laughs> All right. Oh, that fell. Now the moment of truth. Come here, big boy. Check that sucker out. See, this was not even labeled. On storage treasures, for those of you that buy units, you know how like they kind of label what's in it? This was not mentioned, so I figured nobody else noticed this because it was flat like that. But that's gotta be a 47, 50 inch TV, easy. And it's a Samsung, so. Why does this look like our old one? It does, right? The one that broke upstairs? It does, but it's a different, I can tell you from the back, it's not the same. But it's still a huge Samsung TV. Like I said, it's a 50 it's like inch. It's thicker in the back. Yeah. yeah, it's probably, I don't think it's quite as new. But hmm. still, if it's it works, nice TV though. it's really nice. Better than the 30 inch we have upstairs right now. Yeah, this might go upstairs. <laughs> if it works. If not, sell it for parts. You usually get like 40 bucks for a TV that size, so not bad. Is this in here? Yeah. Yes, it is. Let's see what this is. A glass bistro table, and it looks like it's still. Uh, actually, they might have wrapped that up. I'm not sure. But some patio furniture. Not the best time of the year to have that in November, December. But 
that might be capped and sold, might be donated because it's big and bulky. I don't know. We gotta look up the value of it. A salad bowl. Always open these boxes because you never know what box can just be used to store stuff. But that's a real salad bowl. Enjoy. <laughs> I can tell you this thing's in here because it's heavy. It feels like a stress ball or a core ball. What do we have here? Ooh. A nice little power strip with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots for it and an on off switch. These are like 10 bucks at Micro Center. But I'll probably keep that. A box. Dun, dun. What do we got? What is this? Is this that foot, disgusting foot thing that they show on TV? You might, I think this might be like a foot, this might be back, and this might be a face. Whatever it is looks new. I bet you somebody ordered this off TV and then they got it. Ah! They just lost their lights. Ordered it off TV and they got it and they're like, why did I buy this? Is that affecting it? Uh, a little bit. Alright, hold on one second. Well, we could cut the lights on. On! On! <laughs> on! There we go. Yay, lights! Stupid motion sensors. All right, let's keep going here. Let's get these bags up there. Yeah, let's get the heavy stuff off first. Or not heavy, I mean Break like... Break on this tower. Yeah. Pillows can go in that bag. That stuff will probably be donated. That carpet though. Oh, this is heavy. What's in here? Ooh, a dining set of some sort. I think it's heavy because of that carpet I'm putting on it. So not really. The <laughs> carpet. It's not light, but it's not heavy. Why put boxes in a bag? <laughs> ah. Whatever, look. Here we go. It's a 12 wine glass kit from Ross, though, so it's probably not really worth anything. And what else do we have in here? A bunch of these little things. A rotary grater? A cheese grater? I guess. Oh, yeah, it looks like the thing from um, Olive Garden. It does. Let me just sit there. Want me to stop? Nope. You're going to have a sore arm when I come to Olive Garden. Ugh. Stay. I need to get this out. Ugh. Oh, I see a laptop bag, too. <gasps> All right. Since the Mac was in there, the TV was in there, I got good hopes with this laptop bag. Oh, God. It's definitely heavy. If it's a MacBook, <laughs> yeah, because this, you know how Apple people are. They buy one thing Apple, everything's Apple. It's freaking files. It's pictures and files and a textbook. But, why do I feel like I've used this one? <laughs> but it has an $87 tag on it, so it might be relevant. Oops, stay here. Don't break my Apple thing. Trying to find a date in it just to see if it's like something that came out recently. It does. 2001, so probably worthless. But we always check because you never know. Ah, hoping there'd be a computer in there, a laptop. I hope for you, laptop guy, you let me down. Seriously. What do we got here? Are these photos or what? Oops. Every storage unit, guys. It's a bunch of stuff from churches and stuff. Like every storage unit always has all these papers from churches. Always. Some more books. More Christmas decorations. Then go over there. What's in here? Looks like just mostly clothes. What is that? Hole punch. It's brand new. A dollar or so. That's flea market. What do we have here? Hey, it's one of those super nice pillows. Oh no, it's not. What is this? A luxury quilt set. Ah, thought it was one of those good pillows. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, Jordan. Yep. This is heavy. It's all black box. That's just mysterious. Ooh, that's U.S. Navy, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see what we got in here. That looks really nice. Whatever it is, let me open it this way just in case it's got personal stuff in it. No, it's a clock. Look at that. That's 
pretty cool. I don't think this is like something personal. I think this is just a generic thing you can buy. We'll do research on it. If it's something like personalized from the military actually like that, then we'll return it. But if not, that could be cool. Are these chopsticks? It looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Somebody's diploma that actually looks like it. one of those ones from like a movie where it's all rolled up with a ribbon on it. Another laptop bag. Just paperwork and books again. Oh, there's something wood in here. A hanger. All right. Ooh, I see some sports stuff down here. A coin of Kobe Bryant's final game. Hey, that could have value to it. From 2016, once Kobe retired, it still has tags on it. I don't know how much something like that goes for, but that could be valuable. What do we have in here? Nothing. There's a few plaques down here. Random little things like that. Chicago Bulls ornament. And some personal pictures mostly, so. We'll leave that stuff in there. We gotta go through it all and know what the return and stuff like that. All right. Random book. Uh, there's a purse in here and some random dishes. Alright guys, I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize I never deleted the videos from the other day. Memory card filled up, so we took everything home. Found a few interesting things. We'll definitely do a recap, but we have a truck now we're borrowing, so we should be able to clear the rest of this out in one go. So let's keep going. Well, I just lost a hat. But, more Obama stuff. Hey, that's a game. Sims 3 on PC. Not a very valuable one, but still a game. <laughs> what is this Obama stuff here? Barack Obama, it's only 10 bucks. But interesting, I guess. Right. Well, that's why I have to pay attention to stuff. Other than that, it looks like a few chargers and clothes. Oops. We'll go through it all once we get home. We did find some pretty interesting clothes though and the stuff we take uh, already took home. Some pretty valuable stuff, so we'll let you see all that in a recap. What do we got here? Hey, it's Raven. That is better than a rat skin. Hey, some brain and batter. A whole pack of D's. <laughs> a three-in-one tripod and flashlight. That could be pretty useful. I guess it goes to that. Cool. And this itself, I mean, with the Ravens on it. That's brand new. Yeah, it really does. That's probably 10 or $15 to buy, I guess. Oh, this is heavy. What is all that? Hmm. Some dumbbell. Looks like maybe a tool. A basketball pump. Another dumbbell. A tool kit that's a bit open. Oh cool, a nice big flashlight. It's dead now, but those D batteries might go to it. Mm -hmm. Looks like a bunch of tools in there. Drill, black and decker. It has a little bit of life left. <laughs> but yeah, a tool bag. A tool bag with some dumbbells and a basketball pong. That's like really random. Printer box. And by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed. There's a printer right there, so that might go to that. That's a Lexmark's. That's a Lexmark. This is an HP. Okay, nice. Yeah, this brand new. There's ink right on top of it. That looks like original packaging. Yeah. Wow. This brand. That's a brand new printer. Yeah, look at that. That's brand new. That's never even been opened. Nice. Okay. Nice. Smart 5520, and it's got ink with it. So, depending on value, might keep it. Uh, what are these racks right here? This? Yeah, let's see what they are. That looks know. like a shoe rack. Yeah, it's probably a shoe rack, but it, is it broken? It's missing like a little screw on the side. Oh my gosh, it's I found... Different. I saw one of these earlier. I think I threw it away because I didn't know what it was. Oh well. I mean, we can't use it. No. Let's get this out the way real quick. There it is. What? There it is! Ah, come here. Okay, I saw it in here earlier. Uh -huh. There we go. There's a little screw. <laughs> Put it in my pocket. Okay, let's get this out of the way. But I see a Lexmark printer as well as another router, it looks like. Ah, it's like a Walmart router. It's the one I used to have, Belkin. I have that one. It's like a $25 <laughs> router, brand new, so 
That's not worth much, but that printer could be. Looks in good shape. Ugh, this is heavy. Whatever this is, it's full. Never opened either. What is it? Like a cube? cube? with door. All right, I guess that little thing. That's right. interesting, I guess. Just gonna put it right here for now. I see textbooks back there, which could be good as well. This is graduation cap and things like that, so that'll go with the other shelf for returning. Maybe I should have felt that more. But anyway, we found a lot of military stuff in here. We'll be giving back, of course, but I'll show some of it in the recap. I mean, a lot of military stuff. Let's check these out. Franco Sarto or Sarto. They've definitely been worn, but... Not bad. No. If it's a good brand when we look it up later, that could be valuable. I swear, I said this in the other video too. I feel like every time I'm like, I'm starting to get these brands down, I go in a new unit, and there's another one I've never heard of. So mm -hmm. it's an impossible situation. Monroe and Maine. Woo. Are these new? I think so. Yeah, they've never been worn. Yeah, brand new. Look at that. Hmm. hmm. But I don't know if they're an expensive brand or not. I don't see a price on any of these. Lots of price, like barcodes, but made in China is not usually a good sign, but maybe. Suitcase. Oh, oh my gosh, why is this so heavy? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Let's find out. Ugh. Nothing in there. Textbooks, that's why it's like all textbooks. No. The Naval Officer's Guide, see like I said, lots of military stuff. Textbooks, maybe. They're not always negative. Handwriters, but this whole thing might just be loaded with books. Let's just check it out really quick. Oh no, it's got some random stuff in there. These Obama paintings. Okay. People are obsessed with Obama. Oh, I thought that was a tablet. No. Oh. Some random things, but Here's some more personal items, it looks like. I don't really know what's in this envelope, so let's see really quick. Department. This is all personal stuff as well. We have a lot of personal stuff to return. I hope they're, this facility is ready. It's a lot. This is also his personal stuff. So yeah, books and personal stuff, not really worth anything. I almost forgot to mention though, the Mac and the TV both work. The Mac does have a password on it, so Hopefully we can find something that says what it is, but if not, I don't know. But it does work. No, I don't think. If it is, it's like super light. It's a um, three-tiered stand, like this, like something very kitchen. Yeah, I don't think that's in there. This one pack, it looks like uh, manufacturing tape. Maybe, if it is, it's like really, really, really light, cheap plastic, so I don't know. Christmas tree, yeah. Christmas tree is in there. The joy. See, I see. This is what I saw. A bunch more textbooks back here. Ugh. Now, if they're relevant or not, again, I don't know. We'll have to go home and scan them all. Let's see if we can find a date in them just to get an idea of how old they are. Come on. 2010? Okay. That ain't bad. It could be worth something. Textbooks are hit or miss though. Worth zero or worth 70 or 100. You never know. CDs. CDs, yeah. And some other personal stuff. Let's see. I can get all this tape off. You'd think I put a knife in the car, so I'm like, I'm not gonna forget to bring a knife no more, and then we don't take the car away of a truck, so. Let's see. Some personal cards. This stuff actually it doesn't even look like it's been used yet. These are like brand new cards. A whole bunch of paperwork. Things of that nature. Stuff we'll go through. And of course, like I always say, guys, personal stuff will be returned. More Navy stuff. Tom Branton. Irv Alpert. <laughs> and the Isley Brothers. Alright. Hey, the A plus certification book. Ugh. 
So a bunch of certificate or books for certifications, textbooks and things like that. Another card in there. Not too much. Let's see what's in here. Books. Books, joy. We'll just go through and scan all these on Amazon into clutter. There's a little bag. Oops. Anything in it doesn't feel like it, but gotta be sure. Just church stuff. And other than that, there's like a little card in here. Always gotta check all the cards. We found money in them before. But now that I see now, that one's labeled books too, so it might be books as well. Hey, I didn't even notice a little cow kettlebell thing over here, whatever it's called. Only eight pounds. Still there. Let's see what's in this one. CDs, movies, finance books. CDs. Ooh. CDs Language. and movies. There's some DVDs in here. Quite a few. That's brand new. That is two. Nothing. That might go to the TV. That's the TV one. Yes, the TV wire. We had one at least they test it, but that's the TV wire. Maybe we'll find out what we That would be nice. It looks like a whole bunch of CDs down there. Christmas cards too. Anything in the Christmas cards? I never want to show. I'm not trying to aim them from away from you guys on purpose, but I don't want to give nobody's name away. Not that I see. But yeah, let's see what kind of CDs are in here. See if they're like musical music or other stuff. Yeah, Usher. Look. Usher, Whitney Houston. Some of them. I mean, well, same thing. Scan to see what they're worth online. Most likely, it'll probably be the clutter for like that large amount because it's just not worth it. Ugh, hopefully, we fit this all in the truck. Yeah, we'll be all right. Let's see what's in this one. That is legitly all books. Except for this. A secret envelope. With a million dollars cash. Is it? No, it's pictures. All books. Shit. I ain't carrying that one. Yeah, that'll leave me. This is has all books as well, but we'll open it just to be sure. And we'll always check all these once we get home. This, what is that? A camera bag, it looks like to me. But is there something secret inside? Da -da 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 -da. Um, Navy pin. Looks like a bunch of random books again. An old baseball glove down here. An old baseball glove. And other than that, guys, a huge heavy bag of books. Huge. All right, let's get into this tote. What? I've never seen somebody tape a tote. This is the first. Clothes. Looks like we're gonna have like lots of military gear, I'm sure. Like, is that what this is? No, maybe. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I just saw the camo and I found all this other military stuff, so I was making an assumption. Coke. Oh boy, here's what I wanted, Cokes. That could be my video, hey, a quarter, big money. Video title, bought storage unit, found Coke. <laughs> I mean, I'm not lying. I see a rated T something, Sims 2. Sims 2 along with Sims 3, there's also some change in here. I see another dime, another quarter. Check the other side, make sure there's nothing on top. Tim's, Tim's. Oh yeah, one Tim at least. I'm sure the other one's in there. These are actually in about the same shape. That'll come off the bottom. Why did the bottom look brand new, but they look more? I don't know. What the 
heck is that? I don't know. Let's see if there's any more shoes in here that look interesting. Converse? You saw, saw some? Yeah. Ah! No! The light! Good luck, Come Converse. back! Come back! No! <laughs> that is so annoying. It is. Yeah, brand new pair of chucks. They look brand new. Mm -hmm. I mean, they ain't that expensive, but still. Probably get 20 bucks warm if they're like new, like new. Alright. Hey, a whole bag of shoes. Alright, let's see what else is in here. Alright, let's see what else is in here. Alright, let's see what else is in here. Might be some value in there. Then also gotta take home to go through. What's in the bag? Yeah, there's some more clothes. Look at those boots. These are 100% brand new. They still have tags on them and everything. Huh? Right here. Totes. I never heard of that brand either. 50 bucks. Still, they're brand new, so you'd be able to sell them for close for that. Uh oh. Dun, dun. There's stuff in there. Yeah, there's stuff in here. Uh, let's see what we got. Cards, cards, that kind of stuff. Plus their gift card, we just give them back because we don't have no use for them. I'm not stealing identities out here. <laughs> I've always thought about this when I'm going through units. Like if somebody was an identity thief, they can make a killing doing storage units, really. Looks like a bunch of random junk. Random cards, things like that. I don't see any money or anything, but we'll definitely finish going through it later on. Let me put this in my pocket so I can remember. I'll do that on the way home. Let's see what else we got in this bag, though. Hey, new roll tape. Money hey. saver. Mother purse. Oh, yeah. Good bag. Good brand. Good brand. What do we got? I see a V in there. Um. I don't see a brand name on it. There's something on the buckle. Vince Camuto. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. Vince Camuto. There we go. Who knows? Hopefully toss up again, but random little things in here as well. We'll go through all this stuff later to make sure there's nothing in it. See, we got more US Navy stuff. Yeah. Hidden book. Ew. Really? Ready for love? Get out of here. Uh, looks like there could be more purses in there. So, Ugh. who knows? Man, there's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I hope we got this. Let's see. Clothes. This looks like dress clothes. Dress clothes can be big money depending on brand though. Lay suit. That's literally what it says. Lay suit. <laughs> Never heard of it. Hey, whoa, look at this. Brand new, and I see $70 price tag on it. Brand spanking new. We've been finding quite a few things in this unit already that just still have the price tag on, like they've never been used yet. They just stored them away right away. Ann Taylor, I don't think it's an expensive brand. I was, whoa, I don't know now, look at that. Marked down for $100. Ann Taylor, these are brand new shirts. There's quite a few brand new things in here. Here's another one over here. 60 bucks here. New York and Company, I guess, NYNC. There's jeans and things like that in there too, so I'm hoping everything's high end, because that would be very nice. Oh, this is a heavy tote. I still want to know what's in this. This is a huge box. This is one box. Hope that fits in the back. It'd be fine. Um, oh, great bras. This looks more like casual, everyday clothes. Oh, I see a jersey maybe or shorts? Just 23, it's the generic 23. I'm a Jordan fan, but Jordan jerseys are expensive. Um, Let's see, anything else interesting in this one? Not that I see, some weightlifting gloves. I see, look at that though. If you can see this. New York Company, brand new tag again. 
47 dollars for this one there's a lot of brand new clothes on here we're gonna try to get a lot of stuff listed this week we have the flea market on saturday but gonna try to get a lot of stuff listed on ebay this weekend i don't know how much more i can stack here it's gonna go down soon beautiful bra hey some random stuff yay a card what do we got oh my gosh another card in a card eh, open we have a card and a picture in there that'll be returned what do we have here a vinyl tablecloth looks like a lot more books another bag let's see oh, this is for the navy cap i bet you it might be in there yeah some type of navy cap same thing we found in the other unit just about guys i know some people told me the other one like you can still make money off it but i wouldn't feel all right little jewelry box uh, other random stuff in there threads all right so we'll go through that one too pop back on it really quick oops all right look in here I get all this tape off the. Ah, seriously, I thought I was doing good today because I brought a knife in the car. And then we end up not using the car. What do we have? Envelopes. Nah, get off. Why do they put so much tape? Some more mystery envelopes. Giant power strip, it looks like. Yeah, huge power strip. Stapler. What is that? Get it done. T25 workout. Oh, yeah. Microeconomics, more textbooks. Random little odds and ends. Not bad. Ooh, it's heavy. Eww. Put it right here. One more. Books. Books. Not good. I wouldn't even try What? I didn't know if you were going to open it or not. Yeah, we'll see if there's anything else in there first. It feels like books, but you never know. And it looks like books. Most likely going to be all books. Keep that aside. And this thing. Whatever this thing is, looks brand new. Factory seal. Well, what is it? Drag it out. See if there's something on the box. There's nothing on the box. Ugh. Good thing we did get a truck. Yeah. Customer assembly required. I did not just slam my finger in that door. What is that tag on the bookcase? The it's bookcase? A, a zigzag bookcase. It says right here on the side. Oh. Mm. It's mm. brand new. Yep. Is that it though? Other than that guys, that is it. So we're about to have a lot of work to get all this stuff down in the truck and we'll do a recap once we get it all home and go through everything. So I'll see you then. All right guys, so let's do a grand recap for this storage unit because it was an epic one for sure. So glad we got it. Was so close to not getting it because of the $200 price tag, but so happy. First things first, like I said, the Mac does work. But it does have a password on it we can't get into right now i'm gonna pop this word up on the screen now because i forgot what it is off the top of my head i'll do it while i'm editing it's the um, password hint on this so if anyone that it's um bible verse that we saw on google so if anyone knows more about it and has any suggestions what they think this password could be let me know another pair of tims over here last pair we found we've sold for 55 bucks so hopefully we'll get 50 dollars again for the tims whole bunch of cooking stuff there we didn't really go through but the main thing here that i wanted to show you guys in a recap is this huge lot of clothes that are all pretty much brand new. First things first, a North Face beanie, brand new with tags, $30 price tag. These are going for about 20, 25 bucks on eBay. This Chicago Bulls hat, again, brand new with tags. This is going for about 20 bucks as well on eBay. These right here, we got a Lakers shirt, long sleeve, it's um, Kobe on the back, brand new with tags. I think this one's Curry, 
Yeah, Steph Curry T. This one's a t shirt, though, not long sleeve. But again, brand new with tags. These are about 15 or 20 bucks a piece as well. We got a pair of jeans here, which is again brand new with tags. We had we did keep some other clothes as well that aren't in here, but they're just big good brand names. They weren't brand new. I just wanted to show you guys all the brand new stuff. We also got oops, let's go through it the best way possible. New York and Company, $40 tag on this one. This one right here. This is actually a shirt from the um United States of America Defense Intelligence Agency. So that's kind of cool actually. But again, brand new tags, never been worn. This brand new pair of pants right here with the price tag on this one again, $46, brand new. This dress right here, oops, was an $80. Lingerie, oh. ooh, Philly oh, yeah. stuff. $80 price tag on that one. <laughs> this shirt, what was the price tag on this one? This one was a $70 NYC price tag. Again, brand new with tags. Right here at Ann Taylor. This is $140 marked down to $100. Brand new with tags. It looks like a dress. It looks like some dress you would get like in the Roaring Twenties movies or something <laughs> like that. That's the vibe it gave me. I think those are called sweater dresses. Makes sense. This one's also New York and Company. Brand new with a $57 price tag on it. Obviously, we're not expecting to get any of that, but if it has a $60 new price tag on it, we'll probably still get 20 to 30 bucks a piece. So that's still a lot of money. That's the whole unit made up just right there in these clothes. This one. Brand new again, $70 price tag on it. Another dress. Right here. Let's see. Open. Open. Whatever it is. Calvin Klein from Macy's, $79.99 price tag on it. Looks like a suit top thing. All right, this next one I laid out. I know you didn't see this one. I did not. It's very heavy. It's knitted. And read the label or the brand on it. Let me zoom up. Ashro. A S H R O. It's very heavy. It looks like it has the tag like down there at the bottom. Yeah, it does. Um, and I don't see a price on it, but it, it feels expensive. It does. So if anyone's <laughs> heard of the brand Ashro, let us know. We also found a Samsung Galaxy S2 in this one. This one does work. We already cut it on and everything. It does work. It's not really worth much. Probably get five bucks out of this from the Eco ATM, if that. So still thought it was cool. Now this, I wanted to get a close-up one because it is stainless steel, but this watch looks really, really nice. It looks very expensive. It says quartz on it, so it looks like a really nice watch. It really, really does. So I don't know what that's worth. If anyone's got an idea, let me know. We also got this cool looking coin here from the office director of the National Intelligence Agency. These are only going for about 20, 25 bucks on eBay, so they're not worth too much, but I thought it was pretty cool just because of where it came from and it's in a case and everything. Now one big potential find, I also forgot to mention, you can't really see it now behind the clothes, the printer, it, we, have, we found such varying prices on it. It's brand new, it seems to be over 150 bucks, and it looks brand new, but I don't know if it really is yet, we haven't tested it, so we're probably just going to end up keeping this one, because we didn't keep the last brother one we found because it was so expensive, but the ink on this one's really cheap, so we're probably going to keep that, but it would have been worth maybe another $80. But these guys, Diamond Essence Genuine Diamonds earrings is what it says of course we haven't gotten tested yet it's like middle of the night so we're gonna get these tested tomorrow if it's a genuine diamonds like it says it is that could be big money right there too but I, other than that guys we made a killing in this unit and it was a ton of fun we got a ton more to go to today expect them all freaking week <laughs> so thank you so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up if you're not already hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos every single day of the week storage unit dumpster diving thrift stores all kinds of treasure hunting every single day and if you want to follow us on our social media links they'll be on screen just click the links down in the description below make sure you follow us on whatever you have thank you so much for watching until next time peace out